This is INN. This is Indy Nation News. Covering the stuff that matters, usually. Sports, vending machines, the arts, and other stuff, too. From Indy Nation World News Headquarters, right across the hall from the wood shop, Indy Nation News starts now. Good morning, Indy Nation. I'm Amaya Doolittle, and this is Indy Nation News. And I'm Amaya Doolittle, and here's what you need to know to start your day. First off, a big congrats goes out to everyone who took took a part in the 5th Annual Indie Live competition on Friday. A special shout out to Indy's own Akashi Sudis who got big laughs with his stand-up comedy. Indie Theater and Performing Arts took third. Abigna Yaganti took second. And Junior Amaria Hafer took first place in an awesome dance routine. I feel amazing. I think it's awesome that I get to go show people what I love to do in my free time. So that was pretty good. So I did a dance routine with, um, it was SZA, Doja Cat, and Amare, a new upcoming artist. I grew up, my dad danced a lot, and I took after him, like, not just physically, but apparently I can dance like him too. So, yeah. Voting for the People's Choice Award begins today during lunch. Check Schoology to cast your ballot. Also, be sure to apply attention to the Instagram page over the next few days. We will be posting the clips from and the interviews from all those who performed. It was a good night at the pool yesterday. The Indie Boys swimming team got back on track taking big win taking a big win over Potfall. The girls took a, a win as well and took over first place in the district. It was a Lopsided night on the ice Friday as Indy's ho- hockey team took the s- ring. The Tigers bounced back from a loss to the Stonebridge last week with a 10-1 win over Gainesville. La- that featured two goals from Jack Rainbold. Congrats to the wrestling team for winning the Mechanicville Holiday Classic and had 10 players Will Brinker 5th, Marco Murcio. 6th, Luke Johnson 1st, Arav Reddy 6th, Amir Javid 5th, Owen Grosvinsky 4th, Nick Kellen 1st, Will Betterman 3rd, Joe Johnson 2nd, and Gordon Mansfield 3rd. And finally, the girls basketball team also took a victory over the weekend, being the county rifle park view by a final of 45-39. The Pre-Professional Health Honor Society is hosting a toy drive for children in the Nova Hospital. Please spread the holiday spirit and donate any gifts you may have to Ms. Caban in room 2504. We're collecting all gifts until December 18th. Thanks and happy holidays. Come to room 2212 on January 4th at 8.45 a.m. for a uh, relay for a life interest meeting. We hope to see you there. Do you like helping, teaching, or coaching others? Do you want to have fun, interactive environment where you can earn DE credits? Have you ever wondered if you if teaching was the field you were for you? If yes to any of these questions, earn enroll in Teacher Cadet. Are you looking for a class that gives you real life experience? Would you enjoy working with an age group of your choice from kindergarten to eighth grade? Are you a rising junior or senior? If so, Teacher Cadet is the class for you! Hey, rising seniors and juniors. Travel to different elementary schools and get real in-field experience and education. We took this class to prepare us for related fields with children. Like pediatric nursing and social work. We wanted to see if teaching was the right career path for us. We wanted to work with teachers that inspired us. Become a real teacher with Teacher Cadet. Talk to your counselor and apply before January 13th. Calling for submissions, the literary magazine is looking for submissions. The theme this year is nostalgia and memories. You can submit any creative writing pieces, fan fiction, artwork, photography, photography, etc. Get creative and submit your work to the magazine. Connect, Ms. Contact Miss Clemens with any questions. That's all the time we have for this edition of Indie Nation News. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.